Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial we'll be looking at the new features in the new updated version of Lightroom uh, July 2022. So we'll be looking at some of the new masks, um, what we can and what we can't do. So one of the presets that we are looking at today is the active subject. As as Lightroom detects it, we've got pop. We um, have here, this is what's new, uh, the amount slider. We're going to decrease it, the image, or increase the image, like so. Back to about 100. we got warm, we've got soft, we've got cool, softness, vibrant, and glow. So if we go like uh, the cool soft, we can go in here and we can and you see these sliders don't seem to change or anything like that. There's nothing changing here. In the color to temp, no, nothing changes. So that's kind of like a fixed thing. But if we go into our regular um, slider, we can darken it or increase it. We got these controls, and nothing's nothing's happening over here with our slider, max slider. We can play around with it. It's a new active um, subject. We can play around with that. I'm gonna have a look at uh, another one. We've got portrait, we've got different skin tones we can play with. We can change those. And also changes the whole subject. Not just the subject but the background as well. And change it to black and white. So we've got our, our subject and our background. If we go into portrait, it's changing everything. So if we can, can do it, is select our subject. Then we can go into the slider and play around with it. And we still have control here of the overall thing. As it says, doing a little, little vignette here. As soon as you touch the uh, color sliders, as you see, it has grayed out. So we can't change that on that. It's like saturation or you know, the hues or anything like that because they'll just grayed out. But now we have control here. But now it's all grayed out, so we can't adjust, you know, just the individual subject. Okay. Let's delete that. And go on to our next one. So, again, we can go into our mask, we collect, uh, select our subject and we can 
play around with him a little bit. Less shadow, a little bit of white, and clarity. But if now we want to change the background, bring that up a little bit. So what we do here, we go to duplicate and invert mask. So now what we've done here, we've just made a mask of our background. So we can go in and change that in any way we want. Brighten it up or we'll darken it down a bit. We need to go into our settings here and change them. Add a little bit more green or we'll make a bit more summary. without touching our subject here. So that's the, um, the masking tool and then using an invert as well. Also, what we can do, just load up. We can select the sky as well. And we can change that in any way we want. Add a bit of clarity to it if we want to. But we can also invert it. So we just got the foreground and left this guy all alone. But from there, what we can do now, we can copy this, make sure that mask is highlighted, go copy, and we can go and add that to another one of our images, and just go paste. It's doing its calculation, it's AI. As you see, it has copied the mask from the first image, this one here, and then copied it onto this one. But even more, if we take this one over here, it's a completely different thing. And if we do paste, as you see, it has cop not actually copied the exact mask, but it has recognized by the AI that this is sky and this is land or the foreground. And uh, paste in our settings. As you see there, there. So it's made a really, really good job of that. Yeah. Well done, Adobe. So you can do multiple images if you want to. You all know the drill by now. Uh, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and hit that notification bell. So we have these two subjects here. You have our sky, but if we need to, as you see, it hasn't taken in this. So what we're going to do is just to add a brush, and we can just go in. And then we can go in and play with the sliders. So now it take, changes everything a lot better. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's just copy this. And 
and go paste. So as you see, it has selected our two uh, subjects and our <coughs> and our clouds oh, and our sky. But also you see there's a brush here. We don't really need that. So all we would have to do now is just to delete the brush and that's gone and we're just left with the sky and our two bikes. And you see it's just left a little bit down here. You can just as you go in and just uh, touch it up. I wonder anyone tell me if there's a way that you can combine the um, your mask and your brush together as one layer. Must be a way. But there you go. See, as you see, you know, went from this image here with our bike and our clouds. We had to add a little bit of brushwork in. Went, copied and pasted. It. And we paste it into this image here, and the AI found out where the sky was and where our two subjects were, completely different, and masked those out. It brought along with us the brush that we didn't need, but we just could easily just uh, delete that brush. There's this one here that I uh, did earlier. I'll show you the process of this one. So to start off with, I selected our subject. And there it is selected. I did any necessary changes I had to do. And again, I went in and duplicated it. So I just go play with this background now. Open the highlights up a little bit. The shadows. Whites. Blacks. Make it a little bit warmer, a bit more green, that there, let's put a bit more texture, a bit of clarity, and then go in these sliders here. Just a little bit. But as you see, it's kind of like lightened up this part of our background where it still want to keep it dark. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add a brush. And just paint around this. Yes. Increase it a little bit. Oops. I'm just quickly doing this if I do it properly. It'll take me a little bit longer. I'll be careful doing it. But you'll go get the you get the idea. Let's quickly go around here. Around 
Yeah. Right, plus. So we now can go in and just darken this up a little bit. Let's see, it's changing. And there we have it. So I just used the invert to do that, but then I created uh, a brush mask just to darken it up a little bit. And come back. And let's just see the wall. There you go. A little bit of texture to it. I'm going to use these uh, presets black and white. Choose any of these. And then we've got our amount slider here. And decrease, we can increase. And each time you choose a different one, it will automatically go back to 100%. Film looks. You're going to portrait skin tones. And we can also select our subject. As you see, and when you select it, it doesn't automatically um in these presets just to do the the subject or the background it um does the whole thing together but can we we can we can go in and and select it this way our subject So if you want to, you can then go in and duplicate the background and really make a pop like that. So that's quite handy. So if you just wanted to keep her, the, the subject the same, but the background in these presets, you can pick a preset and then go in and change it if you want to. But once you go back into the presets again, it else will also change everything. Change a whole lot. So you go play around with it. So just literally with this uh, new update is just go in, um, playing with everything, see what works, you know. It's half the fun with these uh, new updates is playing around and see what uh, Dolby has uh, come up with. See if you can push the the, the limit, uh, get something out of it that uh, not even uh, Dolby thought that uh, you can get, you can do with these presets. And uh, this new update, you know, just play around with them. That's one of the things I like doing, spending a couple of days just playing. It's the only way you, you learn, I think, is just going in and just playing around with uh, what looks good, what doesn't look good, what works and what doesn't work, you know. Um, You got the actor's sky. But what about if you like this actor's acted sky, but then you, you want to change the uh, tone of the uh, of the buildings and what or whatever or the, or the foreground? Again, you know, just go in, duplicate, and invert your image. Your, your mask. 
and then go in and play it with it that way. But you still keep your deep, your blue uh, drama, drama. But then you can play this to kind of match it. You may find that the, uh, the sky is good, but this may be you know, overcast and cloudy, but you, this all looks like a nice sunny day. So you want to like match it to get to, you know, to uh, make it more realism. So, so that's the sort of things you can do <clears throat> with the new update in um, Lightroom. And until next time, um, I'll say goodbye. See you later. Bye.